All right, let's talk about how to get the micro bit hooked up to your computer. The micro bit comes in this bag. It is an anti-static bag. It will help protect the micro bit when you are not using it. So make sure whenever you're not using it, you are storing it in the anti-static bag. Then, as you take it out, you'll notice a couple of things. There's some buttons on the front. There's an LED grid on the front. And there's a couple places to plug things in. All right. Um, the power cable. So the battery pack, you only need if you don't, if you want to use the micro bit after you've programmed it and you don't want to hook it up to your computer. All right. The, the um, power cable will plug in, plug into that one. Okay. So, uh, however, you don't need the power battery pack yet. What you do need is the USB cable. You can take it out of the bag. I have a little bit longer one so that you can see what I'm doing. So the USB cable has a small end and a big end. All right. Well, there's obviously no place on the micro bit to plug in the big end. So the small end gets plugged into the micro bit. So that gets plugged into the middle. Like so. Put it all the way in. Then the big end of the USB cable plugs into the side port on your computer. Um, when you do that, my micro bit turns on and I have a flashing light on the back. Uh, may not be a flashing light, maybe a solid light. A solid light means it is powered. Hello. So a solid light means that there is power or a light at all means that there is power from the USB cable. If this light is flashing, that means information is being transferred from the computer to the micro bit. To make sure that it's connected, we're going to open your files app. I have my files app docked down here. If you don't have yours there, you can click on your launcher and open up your files app. And when you do that, you should see micro bit listed on the side. If you see that, you have done it correctly. And that is how to hook up the micro bit to your computer. The next step will be how to download code from Microsoft Make Code onto the micro bit.